Hi everyone, I'm Ming Wang from I and ENT Hospital of Fudan University. I would like to thank Dr. Rizzo and Dr. Lombroso for inviting me to join this wonderful meeting. It's my ninth time to attend this meeting. My topic is 24 millimeter full range high definition swab source OCT and OCTA brings new opportunities to the clinic. These are the main OCTA systems that we use in China. Today, I would like to introduce a new OCTA system that is developed and manufactured by Tuot Pine Medical Technology Limited in China. It has these fantastic features that other systems don't have. This is 24 mm length OCT B scan with 6 mm depth. Its automatic segmentation, including choroid, has been developed very well. We can capture 24 mm retinal flow in one scan as well as visualization of choroidal vessels. This is my first time to see 24 mm wide field satellite layer and halo layer of the choroidal flow. Toward Pi system can perform flow quantification for all sizes. This is wide field quantification for diabetic retinopathy. Let's look at some clinical cases. This is a CSC patient. 24mm B scan shows subretinal fluid and PED with patchy choroid on the left eye and right eye. Uh, this is 24mm retinal thickness quantification on right eye and left eye. This is 24 mm choroid thickness quantification on right eye and left eye. We can visualize 24 mm outer retinal unfast OCT on right eye and left eye. Here we can see 24 mm unfast choroidal capillaries flow of the right eye and left eye. This is 24 mm wide field satellite layer and halo layer of the choroidal flow of the right eye and left eye. Here comes a BRVO patient. This is B-scan, 24mm wide field OCTA shows large non-perfusion area in superior temporal quadrant. We can quantify blood flow density in multiple areas. This is CRVO patient before and after anti-VGF treatment. 24mm B-scan, 24mm wide field OCTA shows large non-perfusion area in every quadrant. Again, quantification can be done nicely. This is a PDR patient. The B scan, 24 mm OCTA shows many features of diabetic retinopathy with quantification. When we switch to the segmentation to the vitreous level, we can easily see the new vessels above the retina. Here comes a choroidal osteoma patient. B scan shows the tumor within the choroid. Superficial retinal plexus looks normal. When we switch to the choroidal capillary and uh, satellite layer, we can see the intrinsic fetal vessels of the tumor beautifully. So in summary, 24 mm full-range high-density swab source OCT and OCTA provide new opportunities to visualize wide field image of the retina and the choroidal flow. It also realizes the quantification of wide field of retina and choroidal flow. Toward Pi OCT system will play a leading role in OCT industry. Thank you for your attention.